Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is definitely going to be a different video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to contour and highlight your chest area. I love highlighting and contouring and I think this is great not only if you have smaller breasts and you want to make them look look like you have a little bit more cleavage which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, even me, I do have quite a bit of cleavage. Sometimes my bra doesn't push my boobs up enough and I'm like Arr! so you can create your own cleavage there without having to choke on your own boobs whether they're large or small. For those of you who don't have very big breasts and you just want a little more uh, 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 without plastic surgery well then you can just contour your breasts a little bit and you can also, we're going to be contouring the clavicle area, which is going to give us that nice, sleek, skinny, feminine appeal on the chest area, and it turns out so freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait to show you this tutorial. I cannot wait for you to see it. If you do enjoy it and learn something from it, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys, and let's get started. To get started, I'm going to be going in with my Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. This is in shade Warm Almond 6.5. And I'm going to start contouring the chest versus highlighting the chest. To contour the chest first, I like to actually contour my clavicles. So I'll go underneath the clavicles. Like that. I'm going to add a little bit on top. It's a little more difficult to do it on my right side. I am right-handed. I'm gonna go underneath the clavicle and then just drag it down kind of like a natural, just whoop. So this is the places that shadows naturally hit, so it keeps it kind of natural. And then the boobs, what I like to do is pick up the boob and then you see that natural contour. But whenever my boob is flat, I don't have that. So we're gonna create that. I'm gonna start in the center and just Contour that natural shadow doing the same thing. If you don't have like any boob at all to push up, it happens. You can push up your skin and you can see where your skin naturally folds there. There is our contour, easy peasy. That's all we have. You wanna take a look at that. Screenshot the video, do what you need to do. Oh, I almost forgot. So there's a natural U in the neck. I did that sloppy, but we'll blend it out. I like to create a contour at that too. Next for my highlight, just because this shade is so good for my highlight, is Y31 by the Makeup Forever Concealer. I'm just going to go in with a little brush. I got it on the back of my hand here. And I'm going to conceal, or I shouldn't be saying conceal. I'm going to highlight the areas that I didn't contour. So we want to push these areas out and make them look bigger or where the light naturally hits more so than look bigger. But we do want this part to look bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. I'll do the shoulders. I'll add a little bit of concealer right under here, right under here. I apologize that my chest is red. It's because I kind of wiped down my chest to get, I don't know, I just wanted a really nice clean palette before I start it and that's why my chest is red from where I wiped it down. A little bit there. Just a touch right there. That's pretty much good. And we'll focus on blending it out. You can use either a brush or a sponge. I'm gonna start blending out the highlight with my brush. I'm gonna hold the boob because my boob is pretty, not pretty large, I guess. It's, it's, it's there and so it jiggles. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold it still a little bit. And then we're just gonna blend that all over. And the trick is really taking your time with blending out that contour. Really, you want to take your time with both, but that contour you want to be really precise blending out. So I'm just going to drag that down. And then really just start stippling and doing sw uh, small swiping motions. Now we're actually going to go in with the end of this brush here by Tarte and we're just going to swipe softly and get all this blended out and then we'll go in with a beauty blender just to really soften it up and make sure there's no harshness going on.
we'll go in with the beauty blender and just soften that up even more. Even more. I can barely talk so I'm pounding on my chest. Now we have everything pretty much blended out and softened and not only this, this makeup on your chest, it's just going to make your chest look so flawless. So if you have a little bit of discoloration, which I've dealt with in the past on the chest area, this is going to help out with that too because there is a bit of coverage with all this makeup. So now what we're going to do is we are going to actually set everything. Set everything first, I'll go in with my tried and true Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is an awesome setting powder and I'm just going to take... F25 brush from Sigma and I'm only going to place this pretty much in the areas that I highlighted. This is going to make it last all night long. Make sure it doesn't smudge. I would say make sure it doesn't crease but this is in the under eye area so we don't really have to worry about the creasing. Then I'm just going to take this Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to take the shade Java and this little Tarte contour brush. I use this in to blend out the contour. Now I'll use the other end just to deepen it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is go in with a highlighter and this is Pearl by Becca Cosmetics. It's a super light highlighter. You can go in with any highlighter you have on hand. And this is the F03 highlight brush. We're gonna highlight the clavicles. It's gonna make them look really beautiful, soft, shimmery, and even stand out more. And it gives your chest like that thin appearance. I mean, this is all preference if you want, all this is preference if you want it or not. You can even highlight the boobage a little bit just to give it, you see that little bit of glow? You only want to highlight the areas where you've highlighted and not the areas where you contoured. And that is it for this tutorial. That is it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful in any way. Um, everything I use, of course, will be linked in the description box if you want to know more about that. And I think that's all I have for you guys. So I hope to see you all in my next video.